morning and we're taking care of business this morning and save the best for last. You might say it was by design. The idea in this series was to find local companies that started very small and then went on to make a big impact on the local state, even national level. Today, the story about the creative mind of Marlon Blackwell, architect. Fayetteville residents have seen the Keenan Tower House for many years. It was designed to be like a tree house for grown-ups. Marlon Blackwell was the architect that made that vision come to life. He originally came to Fayetteville to teach at the University of Arkansas, but he has also kept designing commercial projects. In the year 2000, when the tower house was completed, Blackwell had no idea how quickly he'd be elevated to rock star status in the architectural world. We developed this uh, structure that, you know, have a small kitchen, a bath, a place to sleep, uh, take dinner out under the sky. The tower house is on private land, so enjoy this view while you can. Not long after its completion, a national architectural magazine featured the Fayetteville landmark as its cover story. It changed Marlin from the tower house guy to a powerhouse in the business. Inquiries from all around the world took this firm from the ground level to sky's the limit. Then it appeared on the cover of Architectural Record, uh, which is the, the largest architecture uh, magazine in the world. The success of that one project helped Mr. Blackwell climb up the ladder and shine his talents on other projects, both in Arkansas and around the country. Even with all the success, he keeps the firm small to maintain creative control. One of Marlin's mentors, Faye Jones, liked that plan, and so that's how Marlin draws it up every single day. Because one of the things he told me when I started my firm, he says it's very important for you to start the firm the way you want to end it. You don't wake up and, you know, at age 50 and decide you're going to do good work. You have to start out doing good work. Marlin certainly sets the bar high. Currently, the firm is working on an addition to the University of Arkansas Architecture School, paid for with private funds. Uh, which will be a 30,000 square foot addition to Vol Walker Hall, the existing architecture school. And we'll also renovate the school as well to make it uh, perform and function better. It'll take two years to complete the U of A project, but Marlin always has an eye on what's next. He's the kind of man with the kind of firm that lives on the creative cutting edge. I don't see us growing much bigger than we are because uh, I'm, I'm very intent on keeping the quality up and also keeping a good work environment uh, for my uh, for the people that work here. With Brandon Hartung, I'm Mitch Roberts reporting from the top of the Keenan Tower House in Fayetteville. Talk about a room with a view. Man, I just love that building. I live right in the neighborhood and me and my kids have always looked at it and wondered, boy, it would be great to be up there someday. So I feel real lucky that I was able to go. Uh, Marlon also redesigned the Fulbright building in Fayetteville. That used to be the town's library. Now it's some of the coolest office space you can find. Ashley, the Blackwell firm is located on the first floor. <laughs> Mr. Blackwell also designed the clubhouse of the Blessings Golf Course, the Gentry Library, and many other projects in the Northwest Arkansas area. But as you can see, the word is getting out all around the world.